So uh, in this video today, I'd like to show you how to fix when photos are missing in Lightroom, in Lightroom Classic. Um, it happens at times, it happens to all of us, I've done it. And here's the thing to realize, it's something you caused. It's something you did that make the photos not be findable by Lightroom. So uh, before I show you the fix, and I'll put a time code below where I show you the fix if you know what caused your problem already. Uh, I'm going to talk about what causes it, uh, best practices in Lightroom, and then I'll show you the fix. So first, uh, well, let's do best practices first. When you're in Lightroom, because it's a manager of uh, assets, use Lightroom to manage your assets. By that, I mean use Lightroom to move photos between collections. Use Lightroom to rename your photos. If you use your computer to move photos or rename photos, what happens is Lightroom doesn't know where they are anymore. It's looking for a specific place where you told the photos, told Lightroom where the photos were. So it's in this folder with this name. And if you change any part of that, the folder or the name, Lightroom won't know where it is. Think of it like you change a phone number and you don't know the new number. Lightroom doesn't know. So again, don't, don't delete photos from your computer. Don't, on the computer, don't move photos. And on the computer, don't rename photos. And those are the three basic things that happen that cause Lightroom to not know where the photo is. And you'll, when, you, when Lightroom doesn't know where the photo is, here's what it looks like. So inside of Lightroom, when you're in the library module, your photos will have uh, a little exclamation point in the top right corner. And that means Lightroom doesn't know where they are. If you try and uh, go to the develop module on this photo, it will say the file could not be found. So it's telling you, you did something and I don't know where it is anymore. So um, let's talk about the three things that cause this again. So number one thing that makes this happen is on, on your computer, so you're not in Lightroom, you did something on your computer, you moved the, the folder or, or the photo itself, you moved it to a new location. So maybe you put your imports folder inside of a Michael's Photos folder when it was looking for it on the desktop before. So now it doesn't know, hey, you moved houses and didn't tell me. Uh, second thing that can happen is you change the name of the photo. Maybe on your computer you realize, well, I don't want to call this nature photo. I want to call this nature photo, um, summer, July, and maybe a specific date. So you gave it a much more specific name. Lightroom doesn't know because it was just looking for nature photo. And then the third thing that happens that causes Lightroom to not know where the photos are is that on your computer, you deleted it. Or sometimes you do this even in Lightroom. Let me show you what can happen, how you might do this accidentally in Lightroom. And the way you might do this accidentally in Lightroom is in the folders panel in the library module. So remember, in the library module, we have the catalog, which tells me all about Lightroom's database. Below that is folders. And if you organize the way I do, my folders on the computer are the same name as my collections, photo albums in Lightroom Classic. So I might think, oh, I'm in the nature, I'm in the nature photos. There we are. And you know, I don't want this photo anymore. I don't want this photo. And you hit the delete key. Because it's in the folders, which is your computer, it's actually taking that photo and moving it to the trash. Okay, that's why I recommend, I've said it before, I'll say it again, is to do a right click in this gray space between the S in folders and the, uh, the minus sign. So do a right click there and click on the word, left click on the word folders, that'll hide folders, okay? So now if I'm in nature phone and I clicked on this photo number two and hit delete, it will still be in my all photographs. So it hasn't left Lightroom, hasn't left my computer. It's just not in this collection anymore. Confusing, I know. Okay, so let's go through how to fix. We'll start with number one and number two. Um, number one was you renamed the photo and number two on the computer. And number two was you moved the photo on the computer. Either way, you'll do the same process. Here it is. So I'm in the library and I'm gonna click on uh, my grid view here on the large thumbnail, and well, any size thumbnail, it'll work, uh, even this small. Um, 
So click on any one of the thumbnails. I usually start with the first one because it's easiest to find and remember because you need to know the number if you're using sequential numbering. Uh, so click on the exclamation point. And it tells you, okay, I can't find the photo. Here's where I'm looking. And that path is helpful because it gives you the full name of the photo that it's looking for. So I'm going to click on locate because I moved this photo on the computer. So I'm going to click locate. And I kept it simple, so I just moved it to my desktop. So I'm just going to click on that same album, uh, folder, excuse me, on the computer. And I'm looking for photo number one. And this is going to be cool. So the neat thing is I don't have to do all 41 photos. I just have to do the one because Lightroom will say, okay, these are neighbors. So I'm going to link to those two. So click select. And there we go. All those exclamation points should disappear. If they don't, Disappear. Sometimes if you click on a different collection, then come back to the original, they'll be gone. Uh, so that's how you fix a missing photo where you, on the computer, you move the photo or you rename the photo. Now, if you deleted the photo on the computer or from the folders uh, panel in the library module in Lightroom Classic, first place to start is your trash or your recycling bin. So go there and see if the photos are still there. If they're there, whew, breathe a sigh of relief and uh, move them where Lightroom was originally looking for them. So that's the easiest solution. If you've already emptied the recycle bin or deleted the trash, what you need to do is, hopefully you still have the original photos. You do, don't you? Or a backup, I hope you do. Uh, because uh, the solution is then to those original photos, you manually on the computer drag and drop them or copy them to, again, their original location. Uh, you will likely need to then on the computer give them the same names using your computer's uh, uh, file management to rename the photos. Kind of beyond the scope of this a little bit, but basically just move them to the same place, give them the same names, Lightroom will know you'll be good to go. All right, so that's a quick way to deal with the dreaded missing photos inside a Lightroom Classic. It is fixable. Um, there's, uh, again, it's something you cause, so be careful as you're first learning Lightroom, especially it's easy to make these, these mistakes and move things when you don't think it'll affect Lightroom, and it does. So there you go. If you have questions, leave some comments in below. Uh, send me an email um, or... Uh, just let me know however you let me know. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Hope your Lightroom a Classic time is fun. I hope you're out there creating awesome and amazing photos. I will see you in the next video.